now uh, we uh, see the co-generation power plant so what is the uh, co-generation power plant actually the co-generation power plant is nothing but it is the combined heat and power plant so heat and power plant so here if you define the co-generation power plant then it is defined as sequential generation of two different form of useful energy from the single primary energy source so if we take the example of our power plant then if you produce the steam and this steam is used for typically uh, used for uh, mechanical energy and thermal energy so here typically in the in the boiler in the boiler you can see Mm, the steam is generated which is used to produce and mechanical energy and thermal energy both so how we can improve our uh, or or we can extract the more amount of energy from the steam so this this thing we can achieve by the cogeneration power plant so if we, if we see this thing then if you see this is the um, block diagram in which you can see if you apply the fuel and the fuel so engine or turbine is uh, some 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 more amount of uh, uh, we can say here the fuel is applied they maybe use the gas gas turbine power plant or maybe you can use as a uh, some other power plant where engine uh, if there is a gas turbine power plant then we can say here the combustion is take place and due to the combustion hot flue gases are produced which are strike on the turbine and turbine is rotated this turbine is rotated this turbine is connected with the generator or exciter so where the electricity are produced and this electricity is which are used for building or another facility and we can say at the homes or grid so here you can see the one application from the single source here the single source of energy is a fuel where the electricity is are produced first of all then after the flue gases which are used inside the a turbine this come out and this exhaust gas which use in the heat recovery unit we simple say the boiler where heat recovery uh, units in heat recovery the water is added so water is added then this water is converted into stream or hot water so this stream steam or hot water we can use for uh, different purposes like we can say for cooling and heating purposes we can say in the process industries so if you want to use to in cooling and heating in the building then we can also use it so here from the single source of energy primary single source of energy we can use the uh, different way so due to due to this we, we if we elaborate it then we can say here the typically mechanical energy and thermal energy from the single force we are producing both things so mechanical energy may be used here we know the mechanical energy we use for uh, to produce an electricity by use of motor compression and pump and delivery various pump but if we talking about the thermal energy then then the thermal energy here it is produce the steam which are if we if we use use either for direct process application for if you use the for direct process application means here we are producing the steam and steam is used for the process industries like sugar mill textile mill paper mills etc in which the the steam is directly used or is a part of the uh, manufacturing process but if you use the indirect processes like uh, hot water hot air for the dry air, chilled water for the process of the cooling so here you can see here in the building uh, you can if you want to heating it if you want to cooling it then this this, this thermal energy we can use it so here from the single primary uh, primary and uh, primary source of energy we can we can produce the more amount of or we can utilize the more amount of energy from the source so this is the main uh, we can say principle of the cogeneration power plant or combined heat and power plant so now if we, if we uh, think about its efficiency then in the conventional power plant if you think there is a no only the um, fuel is applied in the boiler and it's produce and steam and this steam is strike on the turbine and electricity is produces and this steam is condensed and then after it is used uh, further so this is a very conventional there is a four main component and it is used so the, there is a conventional power plant there is only the 45 percent of energy is utilized so here we can see uh, there is a amount of heat is generated inside the boiler there is only 45 percent of this energy is utilized and rest of energy is wasted because the energy is wasted with in, in form of we can say in form of flue gases the flue gases 
which are produced inside the boiler they are we are utilized only the 45 percent of energy of the flue gases and remaining the energy which is exhausted with the help of chimney to the atmosphere so 55 percent energy we are not used from the flue gases so this amount of uh, energy we are lost in the conventional power plant so what we can do how we can use this energy further so of the uh, flue gases energy with the with, with the flue gases so here uh, our solution is the cogeneration plant in which we can utilize this flue gases further to to come uh, to increase the temperature of water and convert it into steam and this steams or hot water we are utilized for our different purposes so in this the total amount of energy from the flue gases we can use 18 percent and only the 20 percent are wastage so uh, the amount of heat is generated inside the boiler uh, in the which are uh, content with the flue gases we are utilized 80 percent because it is used in the two stages one in the one stage is where uh, mechanically we are used it and in the second stage is thermally we are used it so in the thermal and mechanical in both way we are uting, uh, utilize it and more amount of benefits from the this uh, this uh, flue gases we can use it and uh, get the more more efficiency from the plant so this is a very uh, simple concept of the cogeneration power plant now if you if you see the types of the cycle or types of the power plant then it is the top up, topping cycle power plant and bottoming cycle power plant so what is the topping cycle in this the combined heat and power plant electricity is generated first and waste or exhaust steam is used for heating or heating purpose or any process so here in the topping cycle the steam which are generated it is used first for electricity uh, production so we can say it is used first for in the turbine then after this exhaust steam from the uh, turbine it is used for different purposes like we can say heating heating of uh, buildings and others so here our main aim is to produce your main in the topping cycle the main aim of the steam is to to produce an electricity so first aim is to produce an electricity and remaining heat which are available with the steam is used for um, heating per, uh, heating of the building and heating of the water and other processes so in the topping cycle main purpose to produce electricity secondary purpose is to increase uh, for process uh, heating and all these things so now this is all about topping cycle now if you talk about the bottoming cycle in the bottoming cycle the excess heat from the manufacturing process is used to generate the steam so here the different uh, use of the steam is different or we can say the here when the heat which are used inside the manufacturing processes which access or we can say more amount of heat which are produced in the manufacturing process and this heat is used to generate the uh, steam and this steam is used to generate the electricity so here uh, the main purpose is not to produce an electricity here the main purpose of the heat is to um, use in the manufacturing process and remaining amount of heat which are wastage or we can say the excess amount of heat which are produced during the manufacturing process this heat is used to generate the steam or ultimately to generate the electricity so this is the difference between the difference between the water topping cycle and bottoming cycle so in the first and second one the very very clear idea about the topping and bottoming cycle now if we need of the cogeneration power what is the advantage of the cogeneration plant so here we we know here we are improve the efficiency because we ultimately use the um, use the steam uh, sorry use the uh, flue gases energy up to the 80 percent so improve the efficiency of the plant reduce the air emission because we 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 use the more amount of uh, an energy from the flue gases that's why we require very less amount of the combustion and if we less amount of the combustions then we required very uh, less amount of the coal and ultimately we have to reduce the combustion uh, emission and air emission so here the particularly the nitrogen oxide sulfur because burning is less coal is not required to burn because more amount of energy we are used so that's why the nitrogen oxide sulfur oxide mercury and carbon dioxide will be generated very less amount so this this uh, greenhouse effect we can reduce this now we can reduce the cost of production and improve the productivity because we are use the most of amount of um, 
uh, heat so we can improve these things cogeneration has saved the water consumption and water cost so here we can see the uh, steam is used in both the uh, both the situation first situation where we are using the uh, where we are using the for purpose of electricity production and second uses for the um, process uh, process plant so in both in both the system we are using the same water so requirement of the water is decreases if this both both the processes take place at the different place or de uh, different way then we require the more water consumption and that's why the water cost is increases so by using of uh, co-generation system we can reduce the uh, water consumption and ultimately water cost mm, so now the cogeneration more economical compared to the conventional because they have, we know the efficiency we get the 80 percent so we utilize the heat which are produced in the boiler we utilize up to 80 percent only the 20 percent is reduced uh, we can say lost so that's why it is more economical than um, other conventional power plant so it is all about the um, uh, CHP and uh, co-generation power plant.